<laughs> hey, let's take a live look across the Bay Area this morning. Still pretty dry at this hour, but you know what? That rain's going to be rolling in pretty soon. Carrie's keeping tabs on the radar for us. We do have a nice morning commute. The evening commute is going to be a mess, so plan on it being a long day. And don't forget the umbrella because even though we are starting out mostly dry for now, the rain comes back around noon and we'll have gusty winds. Tomorrow there will be a brief break in the wet weather. Still a few spotty showers may linger, but overall we'll have a time to prep for an atmospheric river set to arrive this weekend, possibly two of these storms with some gusty winds and flooding that will be possible. So here's a look at the system that we have coming in with some rain approaching far northern California and the coastline. As we get a closer look, we're only getting some very spotty sprinkles at this point. The rain picking up later this morning at 11 o'clock. It's starting to rain in parts of the North Bay approaching Santa Rosa. Light showers once again out ahead of that, but the radar continues to fill in as we go into the evening. And uh, once again, it's going to be very wet later today and then gradually tapering off for tonight. So we are going to see the waves of rain coming in, not expecting any major issues. While most of us will get about a quarter to possibly a half inch of rainfall, could be up to an inch for Ben Loman, parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains, as well as farther to the north. So most of us getting just enough rainfall to make the ground even more soggy ahead of these storm systems for the weekend. The next one comes in on late Friday night into Saturday. Widespread rain, gusty winds. There will be a brief break between late Saturday night and Sunday. And then by Sunday evening, we're seeing the next atmospheric river coming in with heavy rain that will linger into the middle of next week. We are expecting some pretty decent rainfall totals in the Sierra is going to get a lot of snow. Just with the cold front that we are seeing today, we're looking at about 7 to 20 inches of snow. Heads up if you're going there for the weekend that it's going to be really difficult to travel because there will be additional snowfall coming down. And in total, we may see anywhere from about a foot to possibly three feet of snow just between now and next Tuesday. We do have a lot of rain coming in, but once again, there will be those opportunities to get out there, clean up, assess, see what's going on, and also prep for the next round of rain coming in. With this being a long holiday weekend, if you do have travel plans, make sure you're planning accordingly with this kind of weather that we are going to see moving in.